Hello, you're all very welcome to join us on day 18 of our 33-day retreat. Mary's role has been to bring us face to face with Jesus crucified on the cross. When we are there, can we not feel something when we are with Jesus on the cross? We are reminded that sin is what hardens the heart to the extent that we feel nothing or little as we look upon Jesus on the cross. Mother Teresa focuses on the heart, reminding us that we give our hearts to Mary and she gives us her immaculate heart. And how great is that love when we are joined to the heart of Mary. We can all identify with the heart. We want to have hearts that go out to others and to hearts that connect with the hearts of Jesus and of Mary. And so we reflect on our reading on today, day 18, on the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Mary's role is to bring us face to face with the love of the heart of Jesus crucified. But what if we're there with him face to face? We don't feel moved? What if we stand before a crucifix, ponder the Lord's passion and feel little or nothing? What if our hearts are hard and insensitive because of our sins? This happens. We all sin, and sin hardens hearts. Aridity and desolation also happen regardless of our sins. Whatever the reason, our hearts can be cold and unfailing, unfeeling, and this can be a problem. Thankfully, the one who has a sinless, perfect, immaculate heart will help us. She will give us her compassionate heart. She will even let us live in her heart if only we give her, our heart to her. During our week with St. Louis de Montfort, we learned that we can consecrate our lives to Mary. We can give our whole selves to her and Mary then gives her whole self to us. The emphasis that week was on merits. If we give our merits to Mary, she gives her merits to us. This is a marvellous thing. Yet Mother Teresa gives a bit of a different emphasis to all of this. Her concern is with the heart. In other words, her version of a total consecration to Mary focuses on a kind of exchange of hearts. We give Mary our hearts and she gives, gives us her immaculate heart. For Mother Teresa, this gift of Mary's heart through consecration essentially means two things that are expressed by two simple prayers. Lend me your heart and keep me in your most pure heart. The first, lend me your heart. By this prayer, Mother Teresa asks Our Lady to give her the love of her heart. In other words, she says, Mary, help me to love with the perfect love of your immaculate heart. Remember, Mother Teresa's passionate desire was to complete the thirst of Jesus for love. And she wanted to do this in the best way possible. What better way to love Jesus than with the perfect, humble, immaculate heart of his mother? Here Mother Teresa found the secret to living out her vocation in the full, Mary, lend me your immaculate heart. But can Mary really give us her heart? Of course, there's something piously poetic about this idea. Yet there's truth in it. When Mother Teresa often said to Mary, lend me your heart, she meant it. Did she suppose that the physical organ of her heart would be removed from her body and that Our Lady 
would come down from heaven and give her hers? Of course not. The physical organ of the heart is itself a symbol of a deeper spiritual reality. The heart refers to one, one's inner life and the seat of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, now, now we come to the heart of the heart of the matter. Recall our week with St. Matthew Millian Colby and how we emphasised the bond between the Holy Spirit and Mary. He said that Mary is a spouse of the Holy Spirit and their union goes even deeper than a spousal union. He went on to say things like this, the Holy Spirit does not act except through the Immaculata, his spouse. Hence, she is the mediatrix of all graces of the Holy Spirit. So, if we want to love Jesus completely, ardently and perfectly, as did Mother Teresa, then we need his spirit of love. And Mary Immaculate brings him to us. Let us pray, Mary, lend us your heart, bring us the spirit. Pray that our hardened hearts would burn with the love for Jesus. Help us to set our, our hearts on fire with love of him. Then the second prayer, the second prayer, keep me in your most pure heart. Or stated more fully, one prays, Immaculate Heart of Mary, keep me in your most pure heart, so that I may please Jesus through you, in you and with you. This part of Mother Teresa's consecration to Mary is the most profound. She's not just asking for Mary's heart to be in her heart, but for her heart to be in Mary's heart. So this is a prayer to love Jesus through Mary in Mary and with Mary. This is something more than simply having Mary lend us her heart. To understand and live it requires a loving independence and profound union with Mary. The day after tomorrow, we'll cover what this means and how to get there. Tomorrow, we learn more about Mary's attitude of heart. And so we pray. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, keep me in her most pure and immaculate heart. Amen.